Hello friends, welcome to the Design Together channel. Let's try to learn basics of Figma today. Let's try to set up our Figma account first. Let's go to Google Chrome and I'll type in figma.com here. That actually gives me a couple of details about Figma. Right, if you want to have the look at it, please go ahead and look at the document, how their products, solutions, communities, all those things work and now let's try to log in ourselves all right and if you have the account already you please log in with your email and password if you don't continue with the google account all right let's close this now i have already logged into my figma account so right away i will jump into my figma app all right now let's try to understand top left corner of the figma and here we have two tools one is like move and one is like scale let's say i'll draw one frame all right and this is actually by default enabled with the move tool what i will do i click on this one and i will drag here and there into my canvas that is about move all right and if you have uh, multiple frames or multiple shapes all right you can select both you can actually move them here and there into your canvas that is about your move tool. Now let's try to understand what this scale does. All right. Let's go and try to type in some text here. Type hello. All right. And by normal way, I cannot resize this text. All right. By clicking on K, that actually activates me the scale tool. All right. From that one, I can actually resize this hello text. The similar way there are some icons you will find out there right or if you create some icon with some complex grouping if you want to resize that with the help of a uh, scale component you can actually resize them now let's try to understand this frame section and slice all right first let's try to understand this frame by clicking f from my keyboard all right i'll switch to my frame this is exactly like a document in Photoshop or Artboard in Adobe XD. All right. And in this one, you can actually draw multiple shape or you can, if you want to uh, design any application or any custom things, right, you can do in this frame only. This is about the frame. Let's try to understand section. Section is something like a simple grouping of the components. All right or screens let's say you to complete one flow under one application you actually group them into one section that is how that section it works all right it is pretty simple now let's try to understand all these things here so rectangle line arrow ellipse polygon star these all shapes are available from figma and if you see here these are very limited but these are good enough to start and complete your design all right and now let's try to understand this place image let's say i will draw one rectangle all right i'll cut this one with some kind of a uh, random shape and now what i will do by selecting on this one place image control so what i will do i will select some image from here and that will be dropped here and that if you see here right that actually cropped and did some uh, random cuts all right this is how that place image works and now this is our pen tool and this actually works similar to our other in our uh, xd also we had in uh, in our photoshop also we have this is like a very powerful tool that is big subject again and this is like a simple text tool by clicking on t you can actually switch to text tool and you can type in something all right and this is your uh, component section and this is where this is where all plugins are managed and this is where all widgets are coming in all right by clicking on this one you can actually find many things here and this is like your hand tool let's try to see how that hand tool works all right i will draw multiple shapes here all right and by clicking on h from my keyboard so i can enable that hand tool that actually works as a pan tool all right you can pan the items here and there into your design all right this is a comment section where 
you will comment out on your screens and if you are actually working as a team for example if you have multiple team members right you can comment that is how that comment tool works all right let's try to understand this left side section of the figma this is the layer tab this is the asset tab now let's try to understand this layer section what i will do i will try to draw one rectangle again and that actually gives me the layer here and if i duplicate that layer that layer again duplicated with some other number all right if i create this as a component what i will do i will click on option command k from my keyboard that actually creates me one component all right and that component i can came here and if i create the one more variant of this component that actually gives me the variance of this one this is how that variant icon looks all right and if you want to move this layers top and bottom right this is how you can drag and move the items into the layer tab this is about layer section all right and uh, now let's go to the asset section if you create any components here those all gets into your asset section and this is the header section here this actually gives me the project detail all right what is the project name what is the team name all those things will be given here there are some hidden icons here if you actually draw one rectangle here you actually can see them so here you can edit that object or you can create that as a component or use as a mask or you can have uh, if you have multiple shapes right then you can do union selection subtract selection all those controls you will get from this one all right again if you draw a rectangle all right you create one component and you will get this icon here to add a variant of that component all right so that is how you will get it and there is one more icon here that helps us to multi edit the variants now let's try to understand right side section of the figma all right where in the top right corner we have this section all right uh, if you are multiple users under one file all the different users will be coming here if you want to spotlight them by clicking on this button you can actually share this file with multiple users and you can copy that link and you can share with multiple users again all right and this is the very important toggle again this looks simple but this is very important this actually switches whole lot of different view and that actually enables the dev mode this is again preview section whenever we actually create any kind of a design we preview them and we see the samples and we test them out all right by with the preview mode there are some shortcuts again to switch to these two modes by clicking on option command enter you can actually present all right by clicking on uh, shift space you can actually preview that into same project file all right so this is about your top right corner of the figma let's try to understand design tab now all right i will draw one rectangle here if you see here right it actually gives me so many controls of that rectangle you can customize that rectangle you can see its x and y position its weight its height its angle of rotation its corner radius all the different controls of this rectangle will come into design section all right and now let's try to understand what this prototype section do all right let's say we have two screens all right here and in one screen i have one button all right and in one more screen i have detail of that application all right let's imagine this is like a login button after you log in you will get the detail of that page now by going to the prototype mode what we can do we can actually connect one screen to another screen all right and there are so many interaction types again these are when we actually design the high level application right i'll explain you guys how these works different types of interactions all right and this is like which frame we are going to and all those things and this is about your prototype section at the end of this video i will leave you guys with some shortcuts option one is always for layers 
option two for assets if you see here that is actually switching us i'll repeat this again option one for layers option two for assets all right and uh, the second shortcut is shift e for prototype you click shift e again to switch back to the design mode i will repeat that again shift e for prototype shift e for design mode this is all about figma basic guys thanks for watching do like share and subscribe bye bye see you in the next video